jokes and jokes and jokes and jokes. Really, bitch? Really, Beyonce, bitch? Really? You feeling like that, though, bitch? I'm sorry. You know what? I was trying to stay composed for once and just keep it together and say, you know what? It's just a dress. It's no big deal. It's just a gown. But Beyonce is on this red carpet posing, looking like a motherfucking genie in an Ace of Spades bottle. And I can't take it. I cannot contain myself. My excitement is too much. I just, I cannot deal with the audacity of Beyonce and just her, her sheer Creole nerve. I can't deal with it. What is this beautiful crystallized ass, your queen to be remix giving you a little gypsy flair with some sex siren, a little nude illusion with a, with a, with a ghetto high school dance prom ponytail on the side, a high prom ponytail. Yes, an old homecoming a ponytail on the side. I can't. Beyonce is at the Met Gala wearing our title subscriptions. $19.99 a month, right here on her back, bitch. Are you upset? You know, one thing that really irks me is when I'm in like a retail environment, any place, you know, with customer service, whatever, and people who are at work are talking as if they're not at work. It's like everywhere I go, I'll be standing in checkout and it'll be somebody behind the register who is talking to their coworker about another person's pussy or, you know, their cousin that just got out of jail or how much they wish that they weren't there right now and fuck everybody and how they have to take a shit. And it's like, bitch, can you just ring this up and swipe my goddamn debit card so I can get out of here? I don't want to be here either, sweetheart. But it's... Uh, I haven't worked in retail in a very long time, but when I did, we had to hate the job off the clock. Like you, if you could hate your job while you were working, but you had to keep that shit to yourself. Like you weren't just allowed to be on the floor like, fuck this place, oh my God, I would rather be picking scabs off my mama's neck. Like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't want to hear that shit, damn. I hate. People who act as if you don't have shit to do. Is it just me or is all of this autocorrect shit they keep adding to our phone keyboards just making us type slower? I don't know, it could just be me. A bitch might be dyslexic. This shit is always doing some fuck shit. Like, first of all, let me cuss. Like, you know that I'm not trying to say niggardly. Let me cuss. Just stop fucking with my emotions. I like foul language. Let me have that. I'm grown and I pay my taxes. And now they got this shit on top of the goddamn keyboard that's just trying to be Jean Grey or fucking Professor X and jump into your goddamn mind and tell you what you trying to say before you even say it. Like, damn, can I, let me get the word out, bitch. I feel so conscious when I'm trying to send a text or whatever, I'm looking at you and trying to make sure that you approve of the words I'm using. Like, if you know where I'm going with my language and I just don't feel like that's appropriate because I paid too much money for this goddamn device. Why is it that every Apple store has 375 employees working the same shift, but nobody can help me? So fuck IMAX and here's why. I paid $21.99 for a ticket to see The Avengers Age of Ultron today at 3 p.m. People, I was quite excited to see this film. You know, I also watched Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D on the TV and you know, it's a very good show. I know that they're gonna be tying it in with the movie. I was so thrilled. I purchased my ticket in advance. I got the seat that I wanted, which was smack dab in the middle of the theater because it's a big screen. You wanna be seated right? Yes. So when I get into the theater, as I'm scooting on down to my seat, I notice that there's a gentleman sitting in it. And I said to myself, not for too motherfucking long. And I pulled out my ticket. I went to him and I said, sir, you're in my seat. I'm thinking he's gonna get his ass up and move. This bitch pulled out a ticket with the exact same seat number on it as me. 
So I go and get a manager. He comes into the theater and I'm trying to, this is the fucked up part about it, was that at that point, the previews and stuff had already started. Like the movie was just about to start. And although my situation is fucked up, I still recognize that all of these people also paid their hard earned money to be here. And so I don't want to cause a scene and disrupt their shit because my shit was fucked up. So the fucked up part about that was that I could not cuss them out at the volume with which I truly desired. So I'm sitting there kneeled like next to this seat talking to the manager like, what in goddamn hell is wrong with you bitches this evening? What the fuck, the fuck we got the same goddamn day? I will burn this bitch to the goddamn ground. You can't be intimidating while you whispering goddamn cuss words to people. So, in the end, I told them, listen, you're either going to give me my seat or you're going to give me my money. And they ended up finding me a seat that hadn't been sold that was actually the literal middle seat in the entire theater. So, I saw the movie and it was fantastic. I loved it. But hell, white people complain about shit that ain't real problems all the time, so why can't I? <laughs> I love God. You love God? What's wrong with you? No, Erica, what is wrong with you? I hate thirst trap police. I hate people that leave comments under obvious thirst traps talking about thought, look at you with your whole ass, look at you selling it. Oh, this is a thirst trap. Yes, bitch, that's why we're here. Stop trying to hurt their feelings because then they might stop. Bitch, what is wrong with you? So listen, I would really appreciate it if you all left me out of the uh, Bluebell news. This is a very difficult time for me as a lover of ice cream and fat things. I would really just appreciate um, some privacy in this time of grief.